America is under siege by GOP climate skeptics, Frankenfish may soon be served up for general consumption, and Tom Hanks bankrolls a solar-powered radio. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Tuesday, September 21st. It appears America is at a climate tipping point as a host of Republican Senate hopefuls trumpet their rejection of climate science on the campaign trail. Christine O'Donnell knocked off pro-climate Republican Mike Castle in Delaware's open seat GOP Senate primary. She joins Nevada's Sharon Angle, who dismisses man-made global warming as a mantra of the left, and Wisconsin's Ron Johnson, who blames warming on sunspots, and a host of other Tea Party-backed Republican Senate candidates who reject the science connecting humans to greenhouse gas emissions. The tragic result? More clean energy jobs lost to China. The FDA have just concluded a two-day public hearing on whether genetically modified fish is safe for consumption. The panel heard from Massachusetts-based Aquabounty and from FDA scientists who reviewed the company's application and announced earlier this month that altered salmon, called Aqua Advantage, is safe for human consumption and poses no threat to the environment. With our unsustainable appetite for fish, which is depleting the world's resources at a rapid rate, it may just be a matter of time before Frank and Fish end up on our plates. And finally, philanthropic actor Tom Hanks is helping bring the magic of radio to rural Africa. The Life Player is a solar-powered digital 64 gigabyte MP3 enabled wind-up AM FM radio with three shortwave bands. Available for 80 to 120 US dollars each, it's hoped Life Player will help schools, hospitals and governments enlighten and educate impoverished people. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.